Hey there, wonderful people. It's Aria Pampa back again with another video. And this time we're going to talk about creativity, not just creativity, but why I thought maybe I wasn't creative. Let's get to it. I'm not supposed to be the creative one, right? I'm the analytical person. I'm the person my friends will refer to as being just rational, maybe too rational sometimes. Rational, analytical, not really driven by emotions, although I probably am a little bit, but just people don't know it, but maybe I am a little bit sometimes. Or not, I wouldn't say driven by emotions, I feel emotions in the sense that I feel moved to do things, but I still like to process things through a rational lens in a sense. Also the kinds of jobs I've done in the past have involved me being a lot more analytical. I mean, I have been a data analyst for how many years, right? Like how, mu how much more analytical do you get than analyzing data? And then in recent years, I've moved into more into tech. So focusing even more on information security. And again, yes, there's some, there is some emotional side to understand in that, but it is a technical field. It is rational. It is, yeah, it is analytical. It is what it is, but guess what? I'm also creative. I'm creative in other senses, like in terms of generating ideas finding solutions, solving problems. I'm creative in even this YouTube channel that you're watching. It's a way for me to unleash my creativity and just get myself speaking more and getting better at it. And you know what? I do find that I am actually a lot better now than in previous videos, right? Because I've just had time and practice to just keep improving. But there's a YouTuber I watch a lot. Shout out to Ali Abdal and Basically, I heard him say that he heard somewhere else that your first 50 videos on YouTube are going to be rubbish. So you might as well just start, get those over with so that you can then get into the real good stuff. And I feel like I'm, I'm getting in there. I'm not quite fully there yet, but I'm getting there. Anyway, in my estimation of myself, I wouldn't necessarily have put myself in the creative category. So if they said, okay, are you creative or analytical? I probably would have gone towards the analytical previously, but actually I've been realizing that no, I am creative. I just have been exercising more of the analytical side to my personality, to my brain. Whereas now I feel like I'm moving more and more into the creative side of things, which is pretty exciting. Creativity, I'm talking in writing articles. I'm talking about creating video content, this YouTube content, for example, doing some graphic design, poster design, even uh, hosting podcasts. Yes. So that's coming to a podcast streaming service near you. Stay tuned, you'll see it soon. Yeah, so I'm really excited that I'm kind of getting the opportunity to exercise my creativity, not just my analytical thinking. And I think the rational, analytical, technical side of me is benefiting and will continue to benefit from me being more creative, but I'm going to be making more of a conscious effort to exercise my creativity. You know, there are exercises I've heard people talk about, for example, maybe every day writing down 10 new ideas. Doesn't matter, just brainstorming basically. It doesn't matter if you feel like they're crazy or they're workable or they're even feasible. Just write them down. The more you do it, it's like you're exercising your muscle. You become more creative because your, your mind is now being more attuned to just thinking creatively. You know, it's, it's everything. I feel like everything in life that has to do with our minds is like a muscle. You know, if you decide you want to be a more positive person, practice it like practice makes perfect even if it means you telling yourself positive things every day like affirmations even if you don't necessarily believe it at the point of saying those things the more you say it the more you believe it and you, the more it just manifests in you in your personality like you just keep feeding yourself positive stuff I just know that I'm a lot more creative than I maybe have given myself credit for in the past and I'm just looking forward to doing more and more and many many more creative things in the future. It's going to be exciting. So for you, over to you, tell me, do you see yourself as being creative or more analytical, rational? Are you emotionally driven or the kind of person who's driven by facts and figures? Let me know in the comment section. I'd like to hear and kind of engage with you guys in conversation. If ever you thought you weren't creative, scratch that. All it takes is for you to just practice. You may not be as creative as the next guy that you're referring to or that you're using as a reference point. But trust me, it's only because he's probably had more time and more experience in terms of practice at being creative than you have. A simple exercise would be to just say every day, come up with 10 new ideas. It doesn't matter whether they seem crazy, whether they seem normal, just challenge yourself. Even if you just say five, you know, just keep practicing. Before you know it, you'll start to see 
solutions everywhere you go. You start to imagine problems being solved and actually solving them yourself. But you've got to take that first step. Like practice makes perfect. There was something I read in, or I listened to in an audiobook I was listening to recently. The audiobook was called Soundtracks. You know what, I'm actually going to do a review of that book and kind of share the lessons I've learned from that book in another video. But basically the book talks about overthinking and the thoughts that go through our heads and the soundtracks that we play constantly that often enough shape our lives. And when we say soundtrack, I'm specifically referring to the thoughts that keep playing in our minds, you know, and we can replace negative ones with positive ones. And one thing that John Acuff, the author, mentions is that momentum is messy. What does that mean? It means that sometimes when you're starting out, it's just going to be messy. It's not going to be perfect. You're not going to feel like you're the most creative person. But you know what? What you need to do is stick with it. By the time you're starting to build a new house, right? If you're starting from scratch, it's not going to look pretty the first few stages. It's going to look ugly, to be fair. But it goes through a process. And even through the ugliness, even through the discomfort, eventually, something emerges that is really beautiful. So if someone were to ask me today, are you analytical or are you creative? I'm both. What are you? Thanks so much for getting this far in this video. If you did get this far, leave a, I don't know, let's see, a house emoji in the comment section. So I know you got this far. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I look forward to creating more and more content that would help and probably inspire you and help you just be better as the things that I'm reading about and learning about are making me better. If you actually have any topics you think would be cool for me to discuss or cover, put them in the description and I'd be happy to do that. Anyway, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. So you just watched a video that I recorded last year, but somehow didn't quite get around to editing and posting. So I thought, you know what, might as well post it up even though it's a year late. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.